Hi, my name is Steve Schmidt and I'm going to demonstrate to you how you can migrate out of Overt or RKV Red Hat Virtualization into Oracle Linux Virtualization Manager. So let's have a look at our new environment, which is the Oracle Linux Virtualization Manager. And just going to log in and, gonna, and here you can see I have three virtual machines. One is running. I will also demonstrate to you that I have some storage and under the domains you will see which storage domains I have and this is where the new over storage domain will go into. So let's go and have a look at our over environment in this case. And I'll uh, just log in here and the password. And as you can see here I have two VMs. But I'm gonna look at my storage domain and this is the overt NFS. I'm gonna click on it. And as you can see here, I have some virtual machines, I have some uh, ISO images, and these are all the stuff I need to move out of my uh, legacy environment, which in this case is uh, overt, but it could be RKV. Before we can do so, we need to make sure to stop all the systems that we have running on the environment. But in this case, I have two VMs, and I'm just going to log into the first one, which is a tiny Linux I have here. It was for the fun of it and I'm gonna stop that one and the other one I have is an Oracle Linux and uh, just to the demo purpose of it I'm gonna touch a file on it so we can see it after we've moved it over to the uh, OLVM environment so I'm gonna do that one and then we're gonna power it power off so the next thing we need to do is that we need to put uh, the system into maintenance mode. So I'm just going to go here and stop that one. And then uh, we go into data center. I have a D, oh, just down here, uh, data center. Click on there. I'll click on data center and then default. And then mark it, and then we can put it into maintenance mode and say OK. So, just hang on a moment. It will change status from active to maintenance. There we have it. And then we need to deattach it because it's not going to be used here anymore on here and it's gonna be locked and then you will see here so yep so it's gone so now we can go to our new environment which is the Oracle Linux virtualization manager and here we can go to uh, domain not there uh, down here on the storage domain here we have it and you can see I don't have any overt NFS. So I'm going to import a new domain into the system. I'm going to press import. And we're going to give it our path to our NFS server. So that's where the environment were before. So here is overt NFS. And I'm going to call it the same overt NFS. And then we're going to do a uh, just hang on here, we'll click down there and say OK. So it's finished and it's been added. And as you can see here, uh, just hang on here, click on Overt NFS. Just hang on a moment. OK. Just hang on. Oh, yeah, finish attaching it to the system. So you can see there's a wrench out at the side of an icon showing, demonstrating that one. Click on it, uh, storage domain. So we go down to data center, and you can see we're going to choose the date default. And there you can see that the overt NFS is there, and we're going to activate it. So now I'm going to activate it for my uh, compute, for my compute power. Let's just see here. Well, the data center will just hang on a moment 
it sh it's, it's still in maintenance mode and it should just hang on here I'm gonna click on that one cheating a little yep so now it's there okay so the next thing we need to do is to see there's no virtual machines here so we need to import the virtual machines we have on th from this uh, system and we had two system one is called tiny linux and the other one is over so i'm just going to say this one and as you can see there's small possibilities when you do this but i'm going to do this a very simple here and just import the two vms i have just click that one say okay and okay and then also we want to have the disk import we had some iso images we also want to have put in place so that one and that one so you need to choose multiple ones so fine so this actually shows the import of our uh, legacy environment we had on overt and as you can see now I have two VMs there and we can actually start this one I'm just going to demonstrate to you I'm just going to start the Oracle Linux uh, on overt environment that I had uh, log into my console I don't have any lines so I'm just going to use the VNC here and then so and you'll see just in a moment yeah and we can look into the system and as you recall I actually touched the file there and we just want to see that that file is is there you can see Steam's moving from overt RKV into Oracle Linux virtualization manager and this actually concludes my demo uh, I hope you found it useful and uh, as you can see I can also start the other one but uh, I hope you found it useful thank you for watching